Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on database systems. In this video, we will be discussing on uh, database definition languages and see how it can be used. So actually, before we can create any structure or database tables, we need to understand the concept of SQL identifiers. So uh, what is identifier? Actually, identifier is, uh, you, you can say, is set of words or user defined words that are used to identify or name the objects in the database. So database objects are named and they are identified by these words. So tables, columns each have the name. And this uh, database identifier or say uh, just identifier can be named from the set of characters that are uh, actually in the character set. And so what we can say is that these uh, characters in the identifier must come from the defined character set. ISO provides a standard set of characters that can be used for the identifiers and these uh, characters include uppercase letters from A to Z. Similarly, similarly the lowercase letters from A to Z, also the digits from 0 to 9 and the underscore character. Also note that uh, you can also possibly specify an alternate character set in the database besides the ISO standard. And finally, there are some restrictions that are imposed on identifier names, like what can be the identifier name. First of all, it is the length of the characters that can be used in the identifier and ISO defines it as 128 characters. But note that most of the dialects, and by dialect we mean the implementation of SQL, they have actually lower limit than this so uh, say for example oracle i think is provides 30 characters for that identifier so there is upper limit on how many number of characters that can be used on the identifier and also the identifier must start with a letter by letter it means uh, the character so the identifier cannot start with digit and also the identifier cannot contain spaces so for example uh, there are two letters which are separated with a space so this is not a valid identifier name if a space is required then underscore is the your best bet to separate the words or say a set of words in the identifier so there are also some uh, other implementation dependent rules and guidelines to uh, name the uh, database objects or say identifiers. So you may want to see uh, the rules for Oracle database or the also MySQL database. So each may have their own uh, set of rules and guide guidelines on how to name the identifiers. Apart from identifiers, there's also some concept of uh, data types, SQL data types. And these data types are the, uh, the, the type of the data that a column can hold. So we know that a table contains uh, columns and each column may have a certain data type or the type of the data that can be stored in the, in the, in the column. So SQL defines some uh, basic data types that can be used. And the simplest one is the Boolean data type and it can hold only two values, true and false. The other data type is the character data type and this character is actually the sequence of characters. Most programming languages call the sequence of characters as a string data type. So uh, it can be related to the string data type. So character is actually the sequence of characters. And then implementation defined character set must be used. So there are two types uh, that can be defined with the character data type. One is uh, character and uh, simply uh, said as char. And there also a character varying are referred to as var char. 
So there are two types that can be used for the character data type. Also note that there is optional length, uh, say the number of characters that a column can hold. So if a column is defined with character data type, optionally a length of number of the characters can be provided for the column length. And also this length by default is one. It means the column will only be able to hold one character if no length is provided. So what is the difference between the char and var char? So the difference is simple. So if the string is defined with a fixed length, then if we uh, do not provide all the required characters, then the extra characters that are not provided so the remaining space is filled with blanks and the whole uh, thing is then is stored on the disk. So say for example, if we define a fixed character length of uh, uh, say 10 characters and then we only provide the data for the three characters, then the remaining seven characters are filled with the blanks and then this 10 characters are stored on the disk. So three actually characters uh, relate to the data and the seven characters relate to the blank and these are not useful so actually the 10 uh, character uh, length is actually wasted our memory is wasted however if we use the varchar or character varying data type then what it what happens like if we define a certain length of the uh, of the column and then we do not provide all the characters. Say, for example, we only provide three characters out of 10 characters, then only those characters which are provided, the, those are stored on the space. So thereby it actually reduces the memory or it does not waste the space on the storage space. So uh, seven characters are actually, is, uh, are, uh, you can say is saved uh, the the space for the seven characters is saved if we define the data, uh, data type of the column as a var char so it is best that you do not know like how many characters uh, the the column will hold so it is best that that to define the character as var char but if we know that the column will ultimately hold all the characters then it is best to define the fixed data type then there is exact numeric so what it means by exact numeric it means that exact representation of the number is possible so it numeric data type is actually the number or the said numeric data and exact numeric data type is stored so there are three parts to the number and one is mandatory and the two are optional so of course a number cannot be uh, represented without any digits so if there is no digit then it is not actually the number so number as so you can say the digits part is necessary so the number consists of digits and there are two optional things that is optional decimal point and then optional sign and sign uh, actually uh, is used to, uh, to to denote the the sign of the number like is it a positive number or is it a negative number so exact uh, numeric data type also has two considerations one is the precision and the other is scale so what the precision means is the total number of uh, significant decimal digits so like how many uh, significant de decimal digits are there so it, it is actually the precision of the number and then the scale is the total number of digits after the uh, decimal point so for example if we have a number minus 1 2 or minus 12.345 so the precision of this number is 5 because there are 5 digits 1 2 3 and 4 excluding the decimal point and the uh, the sign point and then this uh, number has a scale of three so there are three actually digits after the decimal point so there are several ways of specifying exact numeric data type actually there are 
four in ISO standard, numeric, decimal, integer, small int, and big int. So integer also uh, represented as int, and the decimal as DEC. Right? So uh, in integer, small int, and big int. These are the uh, whole numbers you can say and then numeric or decimal they can also include the optional uh, decimal uh, point digits so for example if we define a, a numeric data type like numeric 3 comma 1 so it can store maximum a 9.99 value similarly if we specify the data type as decimal it can store save. Uh, uh, it can store uh, five uh, nines before the decimal points and two nine after the decimal point. So maximum value that can we store with the uh, with the number defined as decimal seven comma two is nine 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 point nine nine. So ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine point nine nine. So uh, note that numeric and decimal data types store numbers in the decimal notation. Integer is used for the large positive and negative whole numbers that is without a decimal point notation. And similarly, small int is used for the small uh, positive and negative whole numbers and big int is used to hold very large numbers. After exact numeric, we have approximate numeric data type. So this approximate numeric data type is used to hold the numbers that do not have exact representation, such as uh, real numbers. So for example, we can say that how many numbers are there between zero and one, and they are actually infinite numbers between zero and one. So these are represented with exact, sorry, approximate numeric data type. So this is uh, uh, similar to a scientific notation. For example, we have the mantissa and the power of 10 or say the exponent. So we have 10 to the power of three. So exponent part is three. And also we have 5.2 to the exponent six. And this is positive number. And this, this is a negative number 0 0.2 to the exponent of minus four. So these uh, types of uh, numbers are actually stored in approximate numeric data type. So there we have three of them, float with the precision, a real data type, and then double precision. So double precision is actually greater than the float representation. So we will continue uh, these uh, data types into the uh, next video. Thank you for watching. Please keep watching.